Alright guys, welcome back to Metroid Fusion. We are on part 3 now as we venture into the Frozen Sector of Sector 5 in search of the Ice Missile Data Room. So let's go ahead and... Oops, can't go to yellow because... There's nothing there, but oh look! There's a hole in the wall that we can conveniently go through. the level three doors. Which is not that way, but this way. Free security room. It's the only one of the security rooms that's not actually shown on the map. Or on the initial map for the sector. Alright, so now we have to go all the way back up to get our ice missiles. Okay, in case you're wondering, that is a power bomb barrier. Uh, we cannot break that with our current output load. Well, we can by using a shine spark, but not otherwise. Alright, ice missile time! Yay! And this is the other reason why ammo runs like water, because you have to use missiles in order to uh, freeze enemies to get your ice beam effect. how you get that item. Oops. 
now we are back in here. And now we have the ice missile and we get out of here. This is also where we need to go in order to get power bombs a little later on. Yeah, I wonder what that thing flying around the background is, and I wonder if we're gonna have to kill it sometime. The answer to the first, or the answer to the second question is yes. Get a missile tank. And now there is an emergency in Sector 3. So let's go up and then we'll find out what it is. By the way, six minutes is significantly more than enough time to get to where, or to get to the boiler and stop the countdown. In fact, on our way there, we're going to make a brief detour. Unfortunately, there is no way to turn off upgrades, unlike in Super Metroid, so you can't like turn off the ice missile just to switch to regular super missiles. Right, so let's go over here, because there are some items for us. we got five minutes, we've got plenty of time. By the way, these platforms are tumble platforms, so you don't want to actually stand on them. Because that'll drop you into a lot. Alright, we got what we came for, so let's go ahead and go back to the boiler room so that we can actually, you know, solve the emergency and set forth with it. If we must.
We're already in the boiler. Alright, scientist is dead. Now we have a poor X. Now we have a new beam. I'm pretty sure the wide beam is actually supposed to be the spacer beam from Super Metroid. But, cool unit operational. Hey, look. With three minutes to spare. Alright, let's get out of here. Now we can go out this way. So we don't have to go all the way out the long way again. Alright, so we are done in the sectors for a brief moment. But before we do anything else, we want to go back this way. Okay, now we can go forward. Now, it's actually possible to carry a Shine Spark all the way through here. And then up, up here in order to break this power bomb gate. 
It'll allow you to get a power bomb tank early. It's not worth it because you won't actually see the benefit of that power bomb tank until you actually get power bombs in the story. puzzle area. Basically, you have to figure out the correct path to go. Which is basically go all the way to the top and to the left. And then use Shine Spark or Speed Boost to break through that area, actually. Uh, I think over here. Yep. You can get that on the way back down, but just get it now so you don't forget about it. Look, it's the Totora and the Eticoons from Super Metroid. And it's a little baby Totora. Stop off at the navigation room to hear the computer's disappointed sigh. Time to go to Sector 5 so we can get power bombs officially. As soon as Sam decides to stop hitting our head against the ceiling. to Sector 5. save here, and we're going to call it a night for, uh, for Metroid Fusion. Um, join me on Thursday at 9 o'clock, as usual, um, where we will be playing Mega Man X5. If not, I will leave a note on the Facebook page and we'll instead do more Metroid Fusion. Alright guys, see you on Thursday. Have a great night.